There are many video editing tools available, but for new creators, the two most familiar platforms are Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. These two are often the first choices because they offer everything from basic editing to advanced features. But which one is the best for you? Let's get into this discussion and figure it out in today's video. When you first open either Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, you'll notice that both have different ways of guiding you through your editing. Starting with Premiere Pro, the interface is panel-based and it's highly customizable. You can move and resize panels to fit your needs, which allows you to create a workspace that feels comfortable for whatever stage of editing you're in. For instance, you can have a specific workspace for audio, another for color grading, and one for basic cutting. This flexibility can be great for experienced editors who know exactly what tools they need for each task. But for beginners, this flexibility can feel overwhelming because there are so many tools and panels available at once. DaVinci Resolve, on the other hand, keeps things more structured. It divides your editing process into clearly defined tabs like Media, Cut, Edit, Fusion, Color, Fairlight, and Deliver. This can be particularly helpful for someone newer to video editing, as the layout guides you through each step of the process without showing you all the tools at once. This step-by-step -step approach is a big reason why some people find Resolve easier to navigate initially. You don't need to rearrange panels or open extra windows to get started. Everything is right there in a clear left-to-right workflow. To sum it up, Premiere Pro is great for editors who want full control over their workspace and like to customize the interface. While DaVinci Resolve is ideal if you prefer a more structured, guided editing process that separates tasks neatly across different tabs. Now, let's take a look into what these platforms offer in terms of features and how you can work with them. Both Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve are capable of handling all the basic tasks you'll need, like cutting, trimming, and organizing your footage. In Premiere Pro, everything is built around a traditional timeline, where you stack video and audio tracks vertically. This is perfect if you're used to working with layers. For instance, when you add a video clip, audio, and text, each one sits in its own layer, and you can easily adjust each layer individually. This makes Premiere ideal for projects like vlogs, where you might need to overlay graphics or add multiple tracks of audio. DaVinci Resolve also uses a timeline, but it has a unique feature called the dual timeline. This lets you see both a high-level overview of your project and a detailed close-up at the same time. This dual view can make it faster to navigate large projects, as you don't need to zoom in and out constantly. So, if you're editing longer videos, this can save time and keep your workflow smoother. While both software handles basic editing tasks effectively, Premiere Pro offers more familiar and customizable layer-based editing, whereas DaVinci Resolve's dual timeline can make navigating large projects easier. When it comes to adding motion graphics and visual effects, Premiere Pro is tightly integrated with Adobe After Effects, which is considered the go-to software for creating complex animations and visual effects. If your content involves a lot of motion graphics, like titles, lower thirds, or custom animations, this integration is a big advantage. You can create something in After Effects and quickly bring it into Premiere using Dynamic Link without needing to export or import files. This makes it easier to make changes on the fly. DaVinci Resolve includes a great great visual effects tool called Fusion, which is built into the software itself. Fusion offers similar capabilities to After Effects, which allows you to create advanced visual effects and animations. However, it uses a node-based system, which can feel unfamiliar if you're used to layer-based editing. Instead of stacking layers on a timeline, you connect different elements through nodes. This gives you a high range of control but can take longer to learn. So, if you're not already familiar with node-based workflows, there might be a steeper learning curve. In summary, if you're used to working with After Effects, Premiere Pro's integration with Adobe apps will feel seamless. But if you prefer to have everything in one place, DaVinci Resolve's Fusion is a solid alternative once you get the hang of nodes. Originally developed as a color grading tool, Resolve offers an industry-leading set of features for color correction and grading. The Color tab is where you can make fine adjustments to the color of your video, whether you're tweaking basic settings like brightness and contrast or applying more advanced techniques like secondary color corrections. Resolve uses a node-based approach here as well, which lets you build complex color grades by stacking multiple corrections in a flow chart style interface. <laughs> for content creators who want their videos to have a cinematic look, or for professionals working on short films, Resolve's color grading tools are unmatched. 
For example, if you're editing a music video or travel vlog and want to create a specific mood through color, Resolve's tools allow you to be incredibly precise with your adjustments. Premiere Pro also offers solid color correction tools through the Lumetri color panel. Lumetri is well integrated into Premiere, and it's enough for most standard editing tasks, like adjusting color balance or applying a LUT lookup table for quick grading. However, it doesn't have the depth of control that Resolve offers. For instance, if you need to color match clips from different cameras, Premiere can handle it, but Resolve's tools will give you more flexibility and better results. If color correction is a major part of your workflow, DaVinci Resolve is the clear winner here. But for more straightforward tasks, Premiere Pro's Lumetri panel gets the job done. Both Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve are equipped with advanced audio editing tools, but they take different approaches. In Premiere Pro, you have access to the essential sound panel, which makes it easy to clean up and enhance your audio tracks. Premiere supports basic audio editing tasks like adding effects, adjusting volume levels, and even auto-ducking to lower background music during dialogue. However, for more advanced sound editing, you'll need to jump into Adobe Audition, which is Adobe's dedicated audio software. The integration between Premiere and Audition is smooth, but it requires switching between two programs. DaVinci Resolve, on the other hand, has a built-in audio editing tool called Fairlight. Fairlight is a full-featured digital audio workstation integrated directly into Resolve, so you don't need to leave the software to mix and master your audio. Fairlight supports features like audio automation, keyframe adjustments, and advanced audio effects. For example, if you're editing a video that includes both voiceover and background music, you can mix the two directly within Resolve using Fairlight's tools without needing to open a separate app. For creators who want a more streamlined workflow without switching between multiple apps, DaVinci Resolve's built-in Fairlight is a big advantage. But if you're already comfortable using Adobe Audition, Premiere Pro's integration with Audition might be more convenient for you. Performance can be a cause for concern, especially if you're working on a lower-end PC or editing large projects with lots of effects. Premiere Pro has a bit of a reputation for being resource-hungry, and many users complain about crashes, particularly with large or complex projects. This has improved with recent updates, but it's still something to consider. Premiere's heavy reliance on system resources can slow things down, and you might find yourself working with proxy files like lower resolution versions of your clips to keep things running smoothly. This adds an extra step to your workflow, which might slow you down when you're editing content like a fast-paced TikTok or Instagram reel. In contrast, DaVinci Resolve is known for being more stable, particularly on lower-end systems. It manages to handle large files and projects with fewer hiccups, and the playback performance is generally smoother, even with high-res files. Resolve's optimized media feature lets you work on high-res content without bogging down your computer, similar to proxies, but less cumbersome to use. If you're constantly dealing with slowdowns or crashes in Premiere, you might find Resolve to be a more reliable alternative. On the other hand, if you have a high-end desktop or laptop and you're deeply integrated into Adobe's ecosystem, the performance gap might not be enough to justify a switch. So should you switch? It depends on what you prioritize. If you're just starting out or working with a tight budget, DaVinci Resolve is an incredible choice. The free version alone offers more than enough for many creators, and the one-time payment for the studio version makes it a great long-term investment. If you're serious about color grading or audio, Resolve is your best bet. Its all-in-one workflow might also appeal to those who don't want to juggle multiple apps. On the other hand, if you're already working in the Adobe ecosystem, using Photoshop, After Effects, or Audition, then Premiere Pro remains a great option. Its seamless integration with the rest of Creative Cloud makes it the better choice if you rely on other Adobe tools regularly.